What's up you degenerates? Welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade. I'm Mikey Bradley and today we're talking about the knee knocker. A knee knocker is when your left knee is on the front seat, on your seat, and your right foot is working the foot brake. Similar to a staggered, but it, your knee is on the seat compared to the back peg. In my opinion, I think the knee knocker is the best way for you to get foot brake on lock. It's easier than a sit down because you can see over the bike. And I think it's better than a staggered because I don't like the way my legs are spread out. It makes me uncomfortable and it, it makes my legs tired after a while. So I, I, I switched to the knee knocker when I was learning foot brake. Um, I learned handbrake, double back pegs, which goes against the stunt rider bible, but there, the way I learned the foot brake was I used the handbrake and then I put my foot in the hole and my knee on the seat and it, it made me feel locked in compared to any other uh, any other variations of knee knocker or staggered or anything like that. It's a good way to learn, but I think there's more stylish ways to do it and we're going to go over all that. So when you're first learning knee knocker, I think the best way to get a uh, good... Um, form I guess it would be is uh, to clutch up from it um, so then when you go to like sit down and then you move to the knee knocker you'll know where your knee should be and how it should feel the most comfortable way the bugs are attacking me um, so I see people do knee knocker and they're kind of squatted down or like sitting on their foot or their knee isn't on the seat, it's kind of like their shin or they're hooking their foot under the tail. And I mean, there's no right way or wrong way to do it, but I think there, in my opinion, there's one way that looks the best. And that's the way that the dirt bike riders do it uh, because this is a dirt bike trick at the end of the day. Um, and they they always put their knee on the seat and it their, the bottom half of the leg is off to like a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle sometimes depending on the rider, but uh, I think this looks the best. I'm not a fan of this style of the knee knocker, having your foot straight back. Uh, I think it looks better if it's turned off to the side, um, and I think that because the dirt bike riders do it turned to the side, so I'm trying to copy what they're doing because it looks cool when they do it. I always put my knee sort of around this part of the seat or a little bit in. Um, it's, it's good to have it a little off from the center um, to the left so you can uh, balance so you can put your weight to the left of the bike if you need to like turn left or if the road's slanting to the right and you need to put some weight to the right because if your foot if you're all if your weights in the middle you don't you're gonna have to be leaning a lot with your shoulders um, but yeah I just put my foot here and kind of comes across here as you can see I don't run a step plate because I don't have fairings um, so there's no need for a step plate if you do run a step plate it might be a little bit uncomfortable I run knee pads too so it's uh it's a comfortable trick. I so if you put your knee over here, you're going to be too far over to the left. You're going to be doing what I call a shin knocker, um, which is when you have your whole leg across going this way. And you're, I, when people do that, I see that they're like crouched down a little bit. If you can stand up tall, you're going to be able to, you'll be, you're going to be more comfortable. Your leg's not going to get tired um, rather than like kind of squatting. If you ever... I forgot to do an outro at the lot, so here it is. Go out there and practice. Um, practice clutching up in a knee knocker. Get your foot out to the side like the dirt bike guys do it. Uh, don't have your foot back or don't do a shin knocker. I hope this video helped. Um, next, we're gonna go over sit downs, then eventually one handers and no handers. So get your foot brake game on lock and I'll see you in the next video.